speak on behalf of Kay Hagen? Yeah. Comment? Justin Conway? Yeah. Uh, hey, everybody. Um, thank you for letting me have your uh, attention today. I got a call a couple days ago uh, from the senator's office um, asking uh, to speak on her behalf here in Macon County. And, and a lot of what Jane said is a lot of what I'm going to say. We all know that North Carolina is at a turning point. North Carolina is at a crossroads. And the decisions that we make today and the priorities that we establish um, are what we're going to, it's, and the work that we're going to have to do is what's going to help us determine not only the future of Macon County, but the future of our state. And uh, just let, let's think of a number right here, 213. We have 213 days till election. We have 213 days to, to send a good Democratic a slate of candidates into office, and we're going to have to lay a groundwork between now and then to get there. Um, North Carolina needs Kay Hagan in the Senate because North Carolina uh, is always put first with Kay Hagan. Uh, she has a track record of uh, fighting for North Carolina families and making them a priority. Kay Hagan's introduced a bipartisan American Works Bill that will connect workers with well paying jobs, uh, and she's helped pass a bill that encourages small businesses to hire locally. Um, she also supports raising the minimum wage to $10.10. And, um, and that would benefit over 1 million North Carolina workers, workers here in Macon County. Um, when women across our state bring home less pay for the same amount of work, Kay Hagan stands for pay equality. Um, the first bill that she co-sponsored in the Senate was the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act because she feels that women should get paid the same as men for the same amount of work. It's a really common sense value. Um, but the outside interests have really focused on Kay Hagan. It's a lot like a Jon Snow's race. Um, we saw millions of dollars spent here in Western North Carolina attacking a public servant. Um, the same thing's happening to Kay Hagan. Almost $10 million has already been spent against Senator Hagan from these outside interests, the Koch brothers, Art Pope, um, you know, th these folks who don't live here, but want a senator who will rubber stamp an agenda just like what we've seen in Raleigh. That extreme agenda that we've seen in Raleigh. Um, let's listen to some of what uh, Kay Hagan's opponents have said. Uh, one of them said that public education does, no does nothing other than dehumanize students. And that food stamps are slavery. Um, one of her other opponents wants to abolish the minimum wage, a minimum wage which 90,000 women here in North Carolina uh, receive. Wants to abolish that. He also supports the Ryan budget. Um, let me just tell you, the Ryan budget is simply uh, an economic plan that is a demolition plan uh, for, for America. Uh, these types of Republicans are incessant on cutting education, health care, child care and drastically cutting food stamps that keep American children from going hung hungry. And if that budget were to ever pass, it has no chance of actually getting passed. But if it were to ever get passed, that's three million American jobs that we would lose instantly. Friends, we must reelect Kay Hagan. Um, we need to knock on more doors, we need to make more phone calls, and we need to reach more voters um, than ever before because her opponents are well funded, and because every vote for a K is a vote for a Democrat down the ballot. And it's one of those things that um, it raises uh, the, the probability that we get all the help we can get. So go to, Hagen, go to khagan.com, sign up, volunteer, follow her on Facebook. Your involvement today uh, will make the difference on election day. Uh, and you know, despite all the odds, despite the hardships, despite all the frustrations, I've never been more hopeful about the future of North Carolina because I know the people in this room and across the state, and I know what they're willing to do for something that they believe in. So let's get to work, and let's reelect Kay Hagan and other great Democrats. Thank you.